Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Perkley Pooh and welcome to day 147 of a year of change. Um, a few things to sort of sum up this week. Um, one, I, I gotta change the intro. Um, every day, whenever I do, whenever I do that, I always sort of, I watch the very beginning, watch the very end when I'm doing editing and stuff like that. And it always feels like it's just, that's out of place. I don't know what it is. I may have to change that up. We're coming up to 150 days, so that might be a milestone thing. But it feels like I'm sitting here going, Welcome to the year of change where we will lose weight. And we will do this and this. And then everything is fine afterwards and I get all... I'm fine and I start talking and start babbling and blah, blah, everywhere and I can't talk after that. Um, but just that first part just seems sort of very formal and everything. Anyway. Unrelated. Nothing really on topic today. Um, number of things. Um, I'm I was going to do the sodium update thing for the end of the week, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow because where we aren't doing any real changes um, for the next couple of weeks at least, then I want to sort of stick with that. Um, I will bring up a few things, however. Um, I tried to do some earlier stuff or some stuff earlier on this week. Didn't quite work out. Um, and some of these I sort of bring up every now and then. Number one, this was a really weird week for boobs. Um, aside from Monday's video, uh, the, like, every day there's been a conversation that I've had with someone somewhere, and not like in a real weird, like creepy, meh kind of way, just in general about boobs. Um, almost every single day, and it hasn't been anything bad, it's just been a discussion one way or the other about either theirs or someone else's or, you know, everything all the way around. I've had like four conversations with people and they've just been sort of very matter of fact and scientific and everything else, but it was just sort of a weird week. That's not what I was going to talk about. <laughs> um, I, I've been, I may have said this last week actually as well, I'm, I've been sort of looking around because there's still, that snacking craving is still there. So I've been trying to find something to sort of alleviate that, but I've been watching my sodium really uh, closely. Um, Although this week, I for like two or three days, I didn't pay attention at all for some reason, just stopped. Um, I was still somewhat under a couple of days, but in general, I just forgot about it. Um, that's from not being diligent every single day. But I've been trying to sort of steer away from the sodium stuff, and I didn't really want to replace it with sugar, but I did do that one day, and I ended up buying... Oh, I did do this. I talked about this before. Um, got some gummy bears and got sick. Anyway, I'm not going to repeat it, because I just remembered... I did talk about this. Anyway, this week, um, one of the weird things that happened this week was, um, was not really weird, but a good thing. Yesterday, one of my tweets went out to a whole slew of people. It doesn't take much to make me happy. It really doesn't. Um, but uh, Dr. Jessen, I follow him on Twitter. Um, we've had him up in the recommended viewing a couple of times. He's got the super, the super fine. <laughs> He's so fine. Super fine. I was, did, did it again? Super size versus super skinny. Um, those that series. He sort of he hosts that. Um, I follow him on Twitter because he does have some good advice every now and then and stuff about different things. Every now and then, is that the rest of it is just he's just a doctor. Um, but I had sent him a tweet and he retweeted it to his followers, which is three hundred and thirty some thousand. And I will be happy to report that more than zero point zero one percent of people liked it. It really doesn't take much. That was my little brush. I was like, hey, Twitter fame, and then I'm done. It'll never happen again. Um, anyway, there was, a, yeah, that little sort of brief moment that sort of made the end of my week. Um, it topped it off, and I thought, ah, that's very good. I feel better now. Things are good. Um, anyway, what, trying to watch, getting back to what I was talking about before, um, trying to watch sodium, but now I'm a little more conscious of the sugar as well. We're going to be dealing with sugar later on down the road, but I don't want to replace sodium with sugar because then it just sort of... It's just going backwards. Um, so it's been really tough trying to find a nice little balance because anything that's good has sodium and sugar in it. Um, and especially things like snacky foods and snacky crunchy bits and things like that. Those have both and just a ton of them in there. But it's really weird because when I've been going through different places trying to look at different things and see, okay, well, you know, this has high sodium, this has low sodium. Stuff that you would, like, you would never think actually has a high content to it is insanely high. Like Cheerios, of all things, which to me have no flavor whatsoever, are packed full of like as much as peanuts. It's really weird. So I just, I've sort of been, I'm to a stage now where I'm looking at stuff and I'm going, uh, I, I don't want to buy anything. <clears throat> Sorry. But 
the salt thing is starting to affect me because I'm starting to crave it more and more. Um, in the past couple of weeks, I've only used my salt shaker, including today. I've used it twice today, but once is when I'm making a cabbage soup. So you sort of have to put some salt in there. Um, but I was fine all week. And then yesterday, I was really, really, really craving burgers or hot dogs or bacon, some sort of meat. I want some red meat of some sort. Um, and I thought, well, if I go and, you know, go to like a fast food place, then I'm going to end up getting fries with it. And I don't really want the fries, so I'll just get the burger. But then there's a, a bunch of stuff that goes along with that, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and I was doing really well, got up early in the morning and had a reasonable breakfast and sort of skipped lunch, which I shouldn't be doing. But I just didn't, I couldn't make up my mind in time. So I had to sort of skip out on that. Um, so I had a whole tremendous number of coffees. And then at the end of the night, I'm, I thought, okay, I'm, I'm, I want something. But instead of actually going to a fast food place, I just bought some ground beef and made some here. So I did use my salt shaker for that. But, wow, I have not had a hamburger in a very, very long time. Um, I think since we actually started this or before. But it was so good. It was so, just uh, I was so happy at the time. I didn't go over my points. Um, I probably went over my sodium. Um, I can pretty much guarantee that one. Um, but I normally I would put you know a whole shitload of salt and pepper all over them. Um, but I just had just like a patty. I didn't have the burger and cheese and mayonnaise and all the other stuff that you would put on it. For those of you that just went, what? Yeah, Canada. Mayonnaise on hamburgers. They're cheeseburgers. They're really good. Try it. You'll like it. And if not, well... I don't know what to say. Try something else then, I guess. But, um, yeah, normally you could be a pile of all this stuff on there. Um, but I just thought, no, I'm just going to have this and it'll be fine. Um, I did overdo it, but I didn't go over my points. I went high enough that I had to sort of readjust my treadmill adjustment because I take points off. Like, I do my treadmill, but I don't really count all of them. Um, I had to adjust that, so... Other than that, though, um, overall, I've been doing fairly well throughout the week. A little bit better. I'm hoping that there's going to be a little bit more progress tomorrow. Um, but, again, I don't I don't feel it. And I feel like I should be doing more. But I don't know. So, who knows? Um, just sort of fiddling around with stuff. And as long as I'm staying under my calories and trying to watch what I'm doing, I'm still doing the treadmill and everything else, I just feel like I'm sort of stuck. Which I might be, which is fine, because after a few weeks it'll drop down. I'm not too worried about it. Um, uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Nothing really happened this week at all. Um, I am starting to work. I may have mentioned this last week as well, but there hasn't really been any further development in it. I'm working on doing a weekly thing at work as well. Um, I can't advertise the channel or anything or make any connections to it because they're swearing, and you can't have swearing because most people don't swear. So, which is bullshit. <laughs> I swore. Um, so I can't really sort of promote the channel that way, So, which I'm not going to. But um, I put everything up and getting everything ready and basically just going to go week by week what we've been doing. And I'm just sort of waiting for final approval. I've got everything done. I just need to get approval to say good. And then we can send everything out and hopefully, you know, people will start going that way. And at least it's a little bit of help some way. Um, but really, that's it. Um, I've stuck with the sodium thing. Um, it's getting a little more difficult because everything I look at has a tremendous amount of sodium in it. I still have food in my house that has a lot of sodium in it that I'm trying to avoid eating. Um, I know eventually I'm going to have to because I don't want to just throw it away. But it's just trying to get those portions correct and say, okay, I've done really well all day, so now I can have a little bit more sodium. But it is affecting me because there is that my tastes are changing. I don't need nearly as much. A lot of stuff tastes salt. Like um, I had, I may have mentioned this last week as well. I might be repeating myself because I don't know what goes on week to week. I think I did. I'm not even going to mention it. Last week about the, I bought some processed ham and it was too salty. There we go. There, that's it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that to you last week as well. Um, but anyway, yes. So the work thing in the ground meat or ground beef, ground meat, just meat. Don't know what it was from. Some animal, like moose or cow or camel or horse or something. Um, just the ground beef sort of thing, which is not bad because it's, I'm still making it here. It was, it's normally I get like the lean ground the last time that I bought it, but um, they all they had was medium. 
So, and I really wanted some, but still drain all the stuff off and it hopefully should be okay. But I've accounted for all that stuff in there. Um, but overall, I think I've done fairly well. So tomorrow I will show you where my salt shaker stands um, in comparison to how it was two weeks ago. I still have that picture, so I'll compare the two and you can see normally, um, well, we'll get into that tomorrow. I'll show you where it normally would be after two weeks and then where it is now in comparison. Um, so that is at least doing a little bit better. Um, but we still have another couple of weeks to go before we start fiddling around with the fat and everything else. So hopefully you're sticking with it as well. And if you're in there with me, you understand, you know, that just how many things have such a huge amount of sodium in them. And although we can sort of counteract some of it with potassium stuff, it really sort of opens your eyes because we just, we haven't spent all this much time really paying attention to things. Like we look at calories and stuff like that. And some of you may be looking at fats and things like that. Um, but just the sodium itself, there are some things that you're looking at in a little measurement of 100 grams or whatever is got like 1600 milligrams. So a little tiny handful of a snack and you've got your sodium for the day, which is just, it's really opened my eyes anyway, to sort of see how much stuff is out there. Uh, but again, don't do what I did and sort of steer more towards sugar. Um, I've stopped doing that because I think that's probably why I didn't lose last week. Um, maybe my sugar, although, you know what, my sugar wasn't too, too, anyway, we'll have to review those. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. We'll take a look at sodium and the sugar and compare the two. Um, I'll take a look at fat as well, just to be safe, just to see if maybe my fat had gone up. Because if you're cutting back on one thing, but the other two things are going up, even if your calories are the same, as we discussed earlier, a calorie is not necessarily, like, I mean, a calorie is a calorie, but calories from fat, sugary things are not the same as calories from fruit and veggie things. So your body treats it differently, so maybe it's just that. Maybe that's why I'm stuck on this plateau. But we'll take a look at that in a little more detail tomorrow. Um, but for the rest of the weekend, I'm just going to enjoy my little Twitter thing. Yay. It really takes very little. But this is someone that I respect, and it, was, it wasn't it was anything medical. <laughs> it's not like I said something profound, and he was, oh, that's brilliant. I should put that in my next book. Um, it was, I was making fun of someone else because they were being an idiot. So you can go take a look if you want. Um, basically, it's... People were complaining that he's not diagnosing their problems on Twitter. It's it's Twitter. That's not what you're there for. Go to your doctor. If you have an issue, don't send someone an email. Don't send them something on Twitter. Don't send them something in on YouTube. Like Just go to your actual doctor. That's what they're there for. And say, does this look infected to you? Don't send someone a picture and go, what is this? And expect them to go, oh, well, this is exactly what it is because I haven't run any tests. I've never seen you before. And it's just a blurry picture that could be a nipple or it could be a mole. You never know. Um, or, yeah, that's close enough. We'll leave it at that. See, again, there's another boob reference. Could be a man's nipple. You never know. Um, anyway, this has been sort of a breast-centric week for me. Um, and not in a great, hey, I'm a creepy person kind of way. Just a very matter-of-factly... I don't know. Weird way. But other than that, that's it. So, going to try to figure out what we can do for our 150th. Um, it's not going to be anything major because I figure every 100 is a good milestone. Every 50 should probably do something a little bit different. Um, I don't know what it is yet. I still have three days to figure it out. So we'll go from there. And hopefully do something better so I don't stumble and fumble and not be all robotic when I'm doing... when you're coming in and when you're going out and everything else. But... We'll figure something out. So, that's the end of my week, anyway. Not a lot is going on. Hopefully next week will be a little more eventful and you get a little more progress and hopefully figure out why I'm stuck where I'm stuck. Or why I am stuck where I am. You know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for this video. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. And in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.